Hi everyone, I'm going to continue the series of the Dafyomi. As you can see, I've got a picture of a uh, donkey and an ox actually going together. Is that allowed inside the Torah or not? We actually learn this not just in our Daf here on page 55 of Masachet Baba Kama. We also learn this in Sefer Devarim in Parshat Ki Tetze, if we recollect. That's one of the Parshiot inside the Torah, which is packed with loads of mitzvot and halachot that we do learn. So you can see the picture over here of an ox and a donkey working together. Is it allowed or not? No, it's not. It's not going to be allowed. And uh, actually, in fact, the Torah, under Torah law, Midoraita as we, we call it, they prohibit in tandem an ox and a donkey actually traveling, working together. And similarly, any two animals, one of a kosher species and the other not, for any sort of work such as plowing, pulling a wagon, which was pop popular back during the times of the Gemara, respectively. Rabbinic law actually, in fact, extends this ban to any two diverse species of animals. So there's different questions that do arise within regards to this. But uh, something I wanted to take from uh, Yeshiva Tor Sameach, uh, there was a uh, uh, Rabbi Mendel Weinbach, Sechet Tzedek Libracha, actually uh, wrote in uh, his column some years back within regards to a summary, within regards to Torah prevention of cruelty of animals over here so i would uh, read over the article because i think it's very uh, very important to read it and uh to to know it and uh, review it also he's uh, so many excellent teachings he's actually got especially online i think he's got books i very much recommend everybody to to uh read it okay so prevention of cruelty to animals is a torah concept that finds explicit expression in the command to help unload an animal collapsing under its burden this humane concept also underlines a number of explanations offered by leading Torah commentaries for the above-mentioned ban on working an ox and donkey in tandem. We all, all know uh, that this is uh, definitely cruelty, you know, there, but there's different reasons. There's three I'm going to explicitate, uh, which he actually wrote, uh, I'm going to say, uh, say over the first is Ibn Ezra. He says a donkey, naturally, is weaker, more halash, as they call it in Hebrew, than the ox and will suffer by trying to keep up with its stronger companion. Naturally, the donkey being weaker, the ox being more tough, it's uh, the cruelty of the donkey potentially a bit. Well, it will, will be. Then the Ba'alatorim, another commentator, the ox chews its cud, creating the impression for the non cud chewing donkey that it is enjoying food while the camp companion goes hungry. So there's going to be jealous, jealousy over here from one animal to the other one. And the third one is the Sefer HaChinuch. Last but not least, he's going to actually offer the third reason over here, which is quoted by Rabbi Mendel Weinbach, Zechet Sadiq Libracha. All species of animals instinctively cling to their own kind and suffer when forced into the company of strangers. You know, we as human beings, we sometimes are not comfortable if we're not with our own crowd, with our own clique. An important lesson may be learned from this. Never to couple in one operation humans of opposite nature. So, you know, that's uh, when you're going on a camp, you're going on a tour or whatever it is. You ask for three people you are close to that you want to be on that group with. Say you're going to have an adventure, an Israel tour or something like that. You want to select the few people you're going to be with. So you're not going to be uh, all alone. You know, the famous stories where someone's in a wedding and they, they want to jump inside a hole. They don't know anyone. Everyone's talking to each other and stuff like that. So, you know, we need to be compatible, the people, if you're going to partner there up with them. If the Torah showed such concern for the suffering of, let's say, dumb animals, how much more we must be careful in avoiding harm to our fellow man with the intelligence to perceive his creation. This is quoted over from the Sever Hinoch uh, from Rabbi Mendel Weinbach Sechet Sadiq Libracha. So three main reasons why we do not uh, partner them together in the workings naturally. Uh, and this is uh, giving uh, a reason with regards to this Torah commandment which we learn in the Parashat Ki Tetse with regards to an ox and a do donkey working them together. So that is uh, very interesting. I want to please everyone share the video, smash a like on the button wherever you're watching from, whichever platform. And uh, please watch over the previous videos, 54th video this is today in Masechet Baba Kama. And Bez Rosh we're going to go stronger and stronger and do much, much more. I would like to dedicate this 
uh, to the Hatzacha of Shena, but to Abram also. So please may this be in the of that. And also for Tam- Rufua Shlema, for Tamar Batsrut. So wishing you all a fantastic day here from Israel. And uh, watch over the other videos. This all topic at the moment is dealing with regards to animals, with damages that the animals can do. Animals can do to other animals also under different circumstances. So we're seeing all these different case scenarios pan out over here. It's like an encyclopedia. This is within regards to damages that can be done from different species of animals and from different human beings and different objects and all those different things. So please watch it over and enjoy.